I have another small question regarding to the view model, for example. Um, do we need to create a view model protocol? So uh, let's say we want to test the um, view controller, for example. Or we just like mocking the dependency of the view model is enough. We don't need like a view model protocol. Do you have an example? Oh, here. Yes, something. Yeah. I usually don't create view model protocols. I test the view controller and the view model almost as a unit, as the UI unit, which is a kind of integration test. Yeah. I don't I don't usually test the view model separately and the view controller separately. I like mm -hmm. to test them already together. So the whole UI together. Yes. Okay. Because then I decouple my tests from the structure of the code. I can easily then create a protocol or separate the view model in different ways without having to update the test. Yeah. You will see this in the program as well. We refactor from MVC to MVVM, then put to MVP and back and forth. And we don't break the test because the yeah. tests are testing through the boundary of the public interface is the view controller, is the UI. Mm -hmm. And then we hide implementation details. Unless the view model is in a module in a module and the view controller is in another module. If they're in separate modules, I will test them independently. If they're in the same module, we'll test them together. Yeah. They usually couple to each other. <laughs> yeah, they're usually together. Yeah. That's why yes. yeah. they're usually tested together as well. Yeah. Yeah. But sense. if there's any reason to reuse a view model in a different application, for example, I'm using the same view model, but one is using UI view controller for iOS, but I'm using Swift UI for watchOS. But it's the same view model. So, and then you you can test the view model in isolation and then test the watchOS and the iOS implementations separately as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But usually they are together and I test them together. So then I don't need a protocol for the view model. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. You can also, you will also learn in the program how to decouple the view controller from view models or presenters. And that will get very interesting because then you don't need a view model, or you don't need a presenter or a protocol. Maybe it doesn't make sense what I'm saying right now, but it makes sense when you watch the lecture. <laughs> it's a different strategy as well to decouple them. And then you don't have this problem.